Oh, it's a little fledgling. Mom and Dad are right above me, getting mad that I'm watching the baby. We've surprisingly had a lot of baby birds born here lately. And I'm surprised because we have two cats that hunt out here. But it seems like the birds trust them and have been making their nest here and been successful. So I'm happy for that. Speaking of baby birds, these two mamas are doing a fantastic job of raising these cute little ducklings. I love watching them wander around the pasture. They're gonna make great pest control for our future. What in the world? <laughs> you have been a digging girl. Are you busy? Huh? You busy digging? Silly girl. She's just over here digging away. Sweet baby. going nuts taking advantage of this rain we've been having and getting some new seeds in the ground doing some beans some squash some cucumbers I mean just whatever I can get my hands on and find a space available sticking it in it's a little late in the season for some people but in Georgia we really get to keep on planting all the way through August on a lot of these crops so got some melons planted got some more beans these are my dragon tongue beans my favorite so my seeds didn't germinate from the last planting so now I'm getting to do it again with some new fresh seed thanks to a friend of ours who purchased them off of our wish list so you, you think I should do it I think you should do it. Oh, all right. I'm out here planting my planter boxes that Ryan made for me. Look how cute they are. Nice little custom made boxes. I've got my flowers to go in the corner and I'm putting the, uh, what is it? Scarlet runner beans to grow up. And Ryan pointed out that my tomato is very ripe and that I need to eat it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm afraid to. What if, what if it's too early? And he, he's insisting I should definitely do it. Definitely. You have to. I have to. Alright. Look, but it's not breaking easy. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, it smells like a tomato. What did you think it was going to smell like rose? <sighs> Kitty, are you going to come try to steal this tomato from me? Don't knock down my pet today now. You want that? You want that? Hmm? You want that? No. Right. Here it goes. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. You shouldn't have any of these this year. Oh man. That is. Got to be. The single most delicious tomato I've ever tasted. That first tomato of the season is always so incredibly epic. It just squirts juice and seeds and pulp and all the flavors. Like all of my taste buds just look like electrified. It's sweet and it's sour and it's it's tasty and it's fruity and it's tomatoey and it's, it's so good it's so good it's so good you're making me jealous <laughs> sorry buddy you're gonna have to wait probably two more days and then oh, you can probably have them okay <laughs> thanks for convincing me you're welcome. it was well worth it i know you're welcome
Ah. These are every brassica grower's enemy. What you hiding in there, sweetie? Huh? What are you hiding? That moment when your new celadon quail eggs start laying, even if they are doing it in the food bowl and getting it dirty. It's almost as dirty as my fingernails. Those are garden nails, FYI. Hey there. Well, now what are you doing? Get back. You know where you're supposed to be. Go with daddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ruby. What are you going to do? You going to let them come out? You think so, huh? You want to come out too. They're all lined up. Crazy silly dogs. And goats. And goats who think they're dogs. Goats who think they're dogs. Percy and Rosemary and Ruby and Tabitha and Hearts and Shadow and Kitty and Khaleesi. Truly and Autumn. And you two lashes, even though you're not coming to the gate. You two, baby. Daddy's bringing your hand now. just came out here saying he was hot and sweaty so I sprayed him with the hose. That's what you get for interrupting mom while she's watering, right? <laughs> Liam? <laughs> what are you doing, Liam? Uh-oh! Is that revenge? You're gonna eat my tomato. Who loves tomatoes? Me. How does it taste? Is it what you imagined? Is it? Is it what you hoped for? Does it taste better than any store-bought tomato? Yeah. You did that, you grew that tomato. Oh, you're going in for more even? Not you bad. are, you are, you are very um, brave. Brave, brave boy. Stealing mama's maters. I haven't even had two yet. I only had one. Daddy had one. Now Liam's had two. Mine. <laughs> what? Mine. <laughs> All right, that's it. Save the the other ripe one for Odin, okay? And let those other ones get nice and red before you. to make some yummy homemade pizza with fresh ingredients from our garden. Kids are so excited. It's gonna be so good. Are you guys having fun? I gotta figure out what to do with these okra. I thinned them a while. I guess it was like a week or two ago when they were about this size, and these haven't grown, but they've grown roots. So that works. And these were 
the same plants, but these were kept in a jar and these were in the ground. And look how much bigger they are. And I put them in water and they perked up again. They were completely wilted. So I might have a bunch of okra plants after all. And then these poor tomato cuttings. I planted some of them, but I got to plant the rest still. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anybody else know what that is? That is caterpillar frass, which means the caterpillar poop. And as you can see, we've got very large pieces of plant missing. Now, oftentimes I catch them when they are tiny. So I don't know how this one got past me because I haven't seen any of this damage until today. And I look at these plants every day. So I wonder if it came in from somewhere else. Hmm. Where could it be hiding? They're really good camouflage. But I know sometimes if I shake the plant, I hear like a clicking sound. They usually go up to the newer growth. I don't see any on that. Oh, there it is. There. That's a full size one. He definitely didn't eat much in this garden. So he came in from somewhere else. Look at that. All right, I moved him to a different nightshade, a weed. Um, that I don't care if he eats and if he comes back to my tomatoes I will feed him to the chickens but I'm giving him one chance because I do really like the pretty moth that he becomes and he's so close to pupating by that size it, it's usually just a couple more days blackberries are really showing out now there are so many ripening so fast they're just everywhere gotta pick them so last night I picked the two ripe plums to put on our homemade pizza and we have two more blushing this morning Ryan picked all of the ripe cherries and there's already more ripe this evening he picked all of them and put them into a very delicious frittata. And he was disappointed that he only had a few. And I told him next week, you're gonna say you have too many. I absolutely love this time of year where we get to really enjoy the hard work of the spring. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that these early girls were just days away from blushing. So they are going to be ready real soon too. I might need your help, y'all. This is a mystery squash I bought from the Asian market. No idea what it's supposed to be. It started out looking like some zucchini-like fruit, but they're super hard. So I know I'm not supposed to pick it young. I'm pretty sure it's a big squash that's gonna grow bigger as time goes on, I just am not sure which one it is. If you know of any that it might could be, let me know. I know it's kind of hard to tell on squash until it's done, but maybe somebody will have an idea. Well, I was wondering why my leaves looked crinkly on some of my beans. And then, oh my goodness, I found out why. This is insane. Do you see that? 
Do you see the stem? Oh, it's not focusing, darn it. Let's see if I can get it focus better. The stem is completely, completely covered with aphids. Ugh, gross.